Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my last October reading journal favorite book. This one is a middle school book. It is called Ravenfall and I, I mean of course, I absolutely loved it. It was so so good. I could totally see it being made into a movie or a series on Netflix or something. So I am going to edit out a lot of this because I wanted to kind of replicate the book cover with the trees on the left and the right. And I thought, ooh, it'd be fun to do that. Let's do that. So I got out some stamps and I'm stamping and stamping and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I go looking for some washi and I'm just going to go ahead and use some washi tape and cover it up and try to figure out where to go from there because I have also stamped the leaves and I don't think that I'm going to keep the leaves either. I also decide to anchor the trees or most of them with some black grid washi. I then just set that aside and I'm going to go ahead and stamp a few phrases and also a few ghosts because since this was a supernatural book there was you know ghost and that aspect. I also picked a family stamp that says welcome to the family so happy you're here because there is a big element and theme of family and kind of you know your found family. So I wanted to include that sentiment. So I'm going to cut these all out and then I am going to kind of think about how I want to proceed with this project because um, I just jumped right into making this project, not really like thinking how am I going to decorate this. And uh, so that's why the trees went a little wonky and I didn't, like I said, I didn't know how to decorate it. But I am going to figure it out. I'm determined. So I've got all these ghosts and then I've got my stamp phrases and then I kind of dawns on me that I have my October daily stash and I have the Ashley Horton uh, collection. Um, what was it called? October Lane. And I have a million die cuts, a million. And the Raven is important in the book. I can't tell you why because it'll might give things away and then the cat is important because the cat is like the sidekick this cat is named max and it's just hilarious so i pull out those two big die cuts and i also pull out a million leaves and then i take this uh flower and i'm gonna turn that into a leaf by using one of the black die cut leaves since there is a lot of orange on the book cover and with my stamping, I'm going to go ahead and just repurpose the flower so that way I can make my own leaves. And then I will decorate each of the washi trees with the black, orange, and also some blue leaves. And I think it's going to turn out really funky and different, but I love it. And I had a lot of fun playing with these die cuts and seeing how I can use them for this book journal spread. And like I said, it came out so good. And I also have to say that when I was looking for quotes um, for this book, I found a really good analogy for this book. Someone said that it's like the adult show Supernatural meets the movie Encanto, which is such a good analysis of this book because it, the house in this book has magical powers, just like the Encanto house, and there's lots of different supernatural aspects going on, and it was just a really great book because also underneath all the supernatural aspects, there was also the aspect of grief with one of the characters having to deal with some grief and how to move forward and having his whole life like upended. And I'll talk more about that when I get to my thoughts. So as you can see, I am using a bazillion die cuts to put this together. And I put the raven over on the far left, which also goes with the book cover because there is a raven and a cat on the book cover. And the big cat can go on the bottom right. I felt like that big die cut fit better over there when compared to the size of the book cover. And then I am just layering in the leaves on each of my washi tape trees. I usually do a cluster of three or two and I'm just gonna fill up these trees. And I also use a ton of the word phrase stickers over by the cat. I use Halloween reads, beware of the scare, and then up by the um, 
the tree on the right hand side I'm gonna add a ghost in a little bit and then right next to that ghost I'm gonna put magic and spell book there wasn't really a spell book but there is some type of journal in the book and so it's kind of signif significant to have you know spell book I thought that would work either way and then down in the bottom left corner I'm gonna make a really cute little small cluster to kind of balance it out I love the visual triangle so of course I had to get in a little tiny cluster at the bottom so I am going to do a ghost and a couple leaves and then thriller and black cat so I got another use out of a printable scrapbook kit and I am just loving this. So I'm glad I redirected and got rid of my stampy design and decided to do it this way. And totally, it's just such a unique little way to do trees and kind of uh, duplicate or replicate the book cover. So I've almost got all of my leaves done. I've got them done and now I can move on to my thoughts. And I said that this was um, probably my top favorite book of the month tied with the girl um the girl who drank the moon it was very spooky and it had all the right ingredients two kids anna and colin a magic house an eccentric group of side characters and a cat with special powers it is so good had all of that stuff in it and then there's going to be a sequel next year which i'm so excited about so anna lives at ravenfall inn with her family who all use their powers to help the inn stay running anna doesn't feel like her abilities bring much help to the family so she spends a lot of time doing chores and hanging out with the cat max max has super uh, abilities as well and i think he's just the coolest and slightly scary uh, creature. And I just loved him, like I said earlier, as a sidekick. Then Colin turns up at Ravenfall looking for his missing brother and having no idea that magic exists. He has to learn to embrace magic, especially if he wants to get the creature who killed his parents. Both Anna and Colin have to work together to figure out Colin's connection to his parents' killer, and they both have to embrace their own uniqueness. I said I loved how this book was a mix of magic, family, embracing yourself, gr growing up, and supernatural mystery. There's also... um. Just like I said earlier too, a lot of grief that Colin had to kind of work through and he did a lot of growing up. Same thing with Anna. And I said the setting of the house and the characters was so good as well. Very atmospheric and you felt like you were right there. Okay, so quotes. I found this one that really summed up Colin as a character. I want so badly to keep it all in. Life isn't all joy and flight. It's also raw aches and pains. It's loving someone so much it's hard to breathe and then letting them go. It's good and it's bad and it's too much to keep contained inside you. Oh my goodness, that quote. I mean, he's only 14 in this book, but he has to grow up, you know, much uh, quicker than, you know, most kids his age. And the second quote I found was, embrace the weird. So far, the weird includes a sentient house, a cat that pulls practical jokes, and a girl who can see death. What could possibly be next? <laughs> I just loved that quote. I found it on a book blogger's uh, website. She had written that down. So I was like, I love that. That's perfect. Because I don't know where my photos went of my quotes. Um, so I just wrote down that quote. And once I have that quote all written down, I am going to highlight a few key phrases. I pick kind of a neutral color and that will wrap up this spread. I think I am going to do another walkthrough um, section. So it would be May through September for the reading journal. So if you'd like to see that, I would love to know in the comment section if you wanna see like another quarter of my reading journal and a little walkthrough. I absolutely love this project and will definitely be continuing it next year. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this come together. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. All right, I hope you have a great day. Bye.